Shad. First of all, wish you Merry Christmas and coming Happy New Year. This video is going to be my first video where I want to talk about how to install Pega Latest Personal Edition version 8.1. What are the things that you need to install this and use as a pro? You need to have three things. First, you need to have uh, the file downloaded. I will take you to the path where you need to download it. What is the configuration that you need in your laptop? And how you should use and install this file so that you can use it for your own project, you can use to enhance your knowledge. So let's jump into the first topic from where you can find this link. Let me go short, go to the right so that you can see my screen. This is the PDN link which you have to open. Go to the get support. As you can see, I'm navigating in my screen. Once you click on get support, you will be directed to delivery page where you can see this download Pega software. Click on this download Pega software. You will be navigated to digital delivery page. On this page, this is where you can download the latest personal edition version. What you have to do is, you know, upon the page loads, you can see this link download personal edition you need to click on this you can use this link for the help i assume everybody has downloaded this file and i will show you how this file will look this is my local and this is the file that i have renamed pega personal edition 8.1 version i have kept into my this path i will recommend you to keep in your local where you install this pega file this is the file which i have downloaded just rename it to your own convenient way and then create a folder that will be used to install the files and other things required during the installation so that means installation files will be installed here i just renamed it pega personal edition 1.0 install just to make sure as a best practice do not use any space in between the file names so let's open the file which has been downloaded click on the read me you can read which what all things required so as you can see installing what you have to do is you have to click on install dot batch file but before that what i will take you to is what are the minimum requirements that is required to be available in your laptop so that you can use it just go to install this link this link both the link i will be sharing in my video so this link says uh, when you install that file it will install a package which will have four components gre post gre sql apache tomcat and pega personal edition prerequisite will be you should have a laptop with at least 20 gb disk space available should have a 2 gb of ram available and you should have a browser that should support ie recommended will be kindle chrome so i hope your laptop will satisfy this requirement once you have this done let's go to the third point which is how to install this file click on this batch executable file install once you click on this the extraction will happen and the download process installation process sorry will be started upon installation process you will be getting a lot of logs and it will show if there is any failure it will stuck and stop but if there is no failure it will continue and will get installed upon installation you will have three files created in your uh, desktop first is to run the server second is to log in and third is to shut down when you want to log off from the pega personal edition so i hope you all of them have installed and you have got these three icons which i am showing after these three icons what i will do you need to click on this startup first once you click on that the pega server will be starting and it will take couple of seconds based on your laptop configuration or to a minute as well once the server is up we are good to log into the pega platform Click on the second icon pega platform 8.10 login once you click on that you will be coming to this screen so actually i have already logged in so what i will do is i will log off so you will be navigated actually to the same window up once you click on this since we have installed for the first time we will use the default uh, pega administrator password 
at the rate pega.com with password as install so just click on login you will be logged in for the first time pega personal 8.1 personal edition so this is how we have logged in and you can create your own projects and can use and learn things you can do many things there are different changes it will look very different from the previous version now let's talk about one more very important thing how can you run the pega queries pega sql queries in your personal edition how can you see the pega internal tables for that purpose what you have to do is for the file where it has got downloaded you have to go, go inside that you have to go inside that and uh, check for pg sql go to bin and then go to one second then go to pg admin So once you have downloaded it, you have to go to the for uh, SQL query so that you can access. You go to the install directory, go to personal edition, then go to PG SQL, and PG SQL go to PG admin 4, then go to bin, and then you move it to desktop so that you can run it to the next time. So I have moved it here. If I open it here, so PG admin version 4, which is the real version and it's loading let it get loaded so you will see uh, which is normally used to make a query or can update any pega prpc table let it load for a second So once you will run this uh, PG admin, you will see structure like this. You have to go inside Pega 8.1 database, post GRES inside schema, and then you can select what type of data you want to access. Go to data, go to tables, and you can access those tables. And you can make your query as well by clicking on right there are various CRUD operations that is eligible so this is how you have downloaded it and this is how you have accessed your pega uh, personal edition on your laptop and you can do many stuff you can create your own application and can you learn new versions and new things which has been added to pega uh, uh, that's all guys in this video i hope you liked it i would request everybody to encourage me and like as much as you can and share as much as you can i will be coming soon with another video specific to a particular kind of rule in prayer that you will help to understand the basic things i hope you everybody like please encourage me once again thank you so much